Hola! Normally on this channel, I speak in Spanish. But today I'm going to speak in English as I have something really important to tell you. Something that transformed me as a teacher and also as a language learner. You can become fluent in Spanish or any other language the natural way. You can think in Spanish and speak in Spanish without translating in your head. And you can do it without studying. Today I will tell you how. I really hope that by the end of this video you will have a good understanding of where to start and what to do to learn Spanish the most efficient and the fastest way. That is, learn with comprehensible input. Understanding the principles of this video will completely transform your experience with learning languages as it did for me, I can assure you. But first, let's start from here. Maybe when I said that you can become fluent in Spanish, your mind told you, no, no way, this is not possible. If you had that thought, probably you had a negative experience with learning languages. Maybe you spend many hours studying hard and in the end you didn't see results. Maybe you dedicated a lot of energy and effort to learn the language, but afterwards you couldn't speak and communicate with people. I had this experience, so I feel you. I completely understand you. After many years of learning German and French the traditional way, that is through studying, I couldn't speak at all. What a disappointment, right? Now, when I look back, I see that it was a waste of time and it didn't really work. The traditional teaching didn't work for me because I didn't do the right thing. I was studying a lot, I was learning grammar rules, I was doing exercises and of course I was memorizing long lists of vocabulary. Sounds familiar, I guess, right? I'm here today to tell you that you don't have to do that to reach fluency. You don't have to study to speak fluently. Everybody can acquire a second, third or fourth language because our brain is hardwired to acquire languages. Our brain is designed to pick up languages in the natural way. We are all a great example of that, as we have acquired our mother tongue. And we did that without studying, without learning grammar. As a baby, we listened to an enormous amount of language in different contexts and different situations. We listened to our parents, siblings, grandparents, and all other people around us. They were speaking slowly to us and in a simple way. And they were making sure that we understood what they were telling us. So the focus was on communication. Also, they were telling us stories and they were reading books at night. As a result, we started to speak and later on talk more and more and more. When we were children, no one has never ever told us, now I'm going to use past simple tense. I guess that it has never happened to any child. We didn't study the language. We acquired the language in a natural way. We pick it up naturally. I experienced exactly this with Spanish. I became fluent in Spanish the natural way, without studying. Few years later, I started to teach Spanish. And from the beginning, I knew that I wanted my students to be able to communicate and express themselves. Also, my goal was to make this experience interesting and fun. So I had a vision, but I didn't really have the tools to make it happen until I found out about comprehensible input. I found Dr. Stephen Krashen's work about a second language acquisition, how we acquire second language. Dr. Stephen Krashen says that we acquire language in only one way, when we understand what we hear and when we understand what we read. It is simple. It is how we all acquired our first language. 
and this is called comprehensible input. The brain needs massive amounts of comprehensible input to acquire a language. We need many, many hours of the exposition to the language. So all you have to do is to listen a lot and focus on understanding. You don't have to understand every single word and you don't have to know all the structures that are being used. Your goal is to understand the main message. What does this person want to tell me? What happened in the story? The focus is on understanding the message and not on analyzing the grammar and all the structures. You don't have to know all the theory behind the language to understand it and to use it. It's like riding a bike. You don't have to know how the bike is built to ride a bike and enjoy it. When you understand what you hear, all the grammar, all the words and all the structures are acquired in a natural way. Your brain does it subconsciously. You are not aware of it. The brain is designed to pick up the language. When you acquire a language and not study the language, you won't be translating in your head. You will acquire language by listening and understanding and also later on by having interactions in this language. And you will be thinking in Spanish and you will be speaking in Spanish without translating. Research shows that comprehensible input is the most effective way to learn a language. Studies have shown that learners that are exposed to comprehensible input are able to learn the language faster than those who are not. They are also more likely to develop fluency. If your goal is to become fluent in Spanish, then do it in the most efficient and effective way. Use your precious time wisely. Now probably you're asking, what do I have to do? <laughs> well, let me take you through it step by step. When you start from zero, as a super beginner, you need to listen to slow and simple Spanish. Stories with drawings, pictures, images, gestures, you name it. <laughs> Anything that can help your comprehension is more than welcome. You need plenty of repetition. So now think about a baby or a small child. Yeah, this is what you need. You need to be exposed to a simple and comprehensible language in different contexts. Little by little, you will understand more and more. And meanwhile, your brain does the work for you. So when you understand what you hear, your brain is processing the language and is creating a mental map of this language. You immerse yourself in the language, but in the language adapted to your level, adapted to the place where you are on this path. This is very important. You need to understand what you hear, the main message, the gist of the story. When you understand super beginner content, you move to beginner content. There is no need to study or to learn grammar. All you have to do is listen a lot and focus on understanding. Your brain will acquire the language in the natural way, in a subconscious way. So you won't be aware of that. Acquiring a language is very different to learning a language. So when we acquire a language, it is subconscious. And when we study the language, it is conscious. No pressure on speaking. According to Dr. Krushen, speech comes naturally as a result of receiving a lot of input. Thus, in the initial stages, super beginner and beginner, input plays the main role in the game. Speech will come naturally when you will be ready to speak. We really need a lot of input to produce output. And here, remember, input is listening, and reading, and output is speaking and writing. And later on, when you understand beginner content, 
you move to intermediate content. In these stages, input still plays a very important role, but also we search for a healthy dose of output. Output is not in the center of attention, but it is beneficial because when we can ask questions and participate in the conversation, in this way, we can get even more input. Gradually, we are able to understand more and more, and also we can say more and more and have conversations. Our mental map of the language is growing. The best is when input is not only comprehensible, but also compelling. When you find something useful and interesting and fun, maybe it is so interesting and so compelling for you that you even forget that it is in another language. Very often, my students can't believe that they are able to say so much. They ask me, how do I know how to express all of that? When they ask me this question, I tell them, you can say that because you have received a lot of input. You have heard this in many different contexts a lot of times. It is simple. We need a lot of input to later be able to produce, to speak. With comprehensible input, you will be thinking in Spanish. You will be speaking in Spanish without translating in your head. You will know that something is correct, but you won't know the theory, the grammar rule behind it. You will feel confident expressing yourself. You can become fluent in Spanish. And I assure you that acquiring a language is an awesome, interesting and fun experience. So use your time wisely and embark on the journey of Spanish acquisition with comprehensible input. Your goal is to become fluent in Spanish, and my goal is to help you reach fluency. As soon as I understood how we actually learn languages, and I started teaching this way, I thought I have to share it with more people. <laughs> so here I am, getting out of my comfort zone, speaking in English, to tell you about comprehensible input and becoming fluent the natural way. If you are interested in this topic and you want to read more research, I will leave different resources in the description. Thank you for watching. I hope that this video has been helpful. Well, I will see you in the next videos where I will be speaking in Spanish. Don't forget to subscribe. Adios! Me gusta más hacerlo en español. Vale, vamos a despedirnos. Este, este ya es el final del vídeo, ¿vale? Yo me despido de vosotros. To ride a bike and enjoy it. Buena, ¿no? <laughs>